Is it viable to at least have one or two field turfs at, you know, at one of the public board and one on the Catholic board? Is it innovative or wishful thinking? The real question at Mother Teresa and other schools where outdoor facilities are in decline is, can this be better? Well, this may be the answer. Welcome to St. Thomas Aquinas. Oakville. I watch programs now on TV and I think, boy, our field's nicer than that one. It's the pride and joy of the Halton Catholic School System, home to the STA Raiders and the eighth of nine schools under board control who have their playing grounds converted to turf. We didn't have fields that we could always access all the time because of weather conditions. The all-weather turf gives us that ability to go on a field as early as mid-February and as late as mid-December. The rough cost per project, says Superintendent Giacomo Corbaccio, between $1.2 and $1.8 million. That includes the track, scoreboards, and other features. Rubber infill. It's made from used tires, and there's a drainage system under the field. Water collected here doesn't flush out the play. It's used to flush toilets in the school. Depending on usage, the turf could last anywhere between 8 to 12 years at maybe a couple thousand dollars a year to maintain. The field is, is self-sufficient. Financed in part through loans and existing facility funds, the Halton Catholic Board says the payback process for all eight turf fields is underway. But it also stresses the real value of this artificial surface is priceless. In my opinion, I think we, we scored 110%. The whole reason for doing it was for student achievement. In terms of how we run our curriculum during the day, we have so much more flexibility, not just for uh, our phys ed program, but for lots of different programs at the school. Neither the public nor the Catholic Board in London has ruled out at least a discussion on improvements to the city's existing high school fields. For the time being, though, there is fresh grass to play on. We also do have two natural fields that no one has requested to use. So there's a, a field at the Ed Center in pristine shape. We used uh, the Weeble fields for soccer last spring. Still, home field advantage anytime any game is what local high school coaches long for. A concept once taken for granted, now eroding like the grass that's created a mess. We know the fields are, are, are muddy, they're soft, uh, but as I say, the reports have not come in that, uh, that they can't get by with what they've got. When you break it down, this is about keeping up with the Joneses, but the replacements in this case could be more than an upgrade, a lifeline and a new start at a price point and effort level that from this perspective appears a non-starter. I think there's always ways to, to find money in the community, whether it be through sponsorship or whether it be through board initiatives. I think there's money available. It's just going to take someone creative to go and find those avenues. There are a lot of organizations in, within, our, within London, let alone soccer and football, that are looking for field turf. So that's how the Halton Board does it. They pay it up front. Uh, but what they see is a return in that investment. They're not pouring a bunch of money into fields that they can't use.